While keeping a food diary, you are asked to record the amount of food and the size of something you or your child ate. You may be asking yourself, how do I best estimate the amount of food eaten? This video provides you with more detailed instructions on how to estimate the sizes and amounts of foods eaten. This includes the food portion guide, measuring cups and measuring spoons, and food labels. The food portion guide was given to you by the study coordinator. Inside, you will see pictures to help you describe the size and volume amounts of food eaten. For example, you could use the wedge page to estimate the size of a slice of pizza. Hold the pizza slice above the wedge diagram and record a number for the side and a letter for the arch. You can describe the slice of pizza as wedge D3. When measuring food like macaroni and cheese and mashed potatoes, use the mounds page. You can also use the mounds page to estimate other foods like vegetables. You can use the bowl page to help describe the amount of cereal eaten. You can also refer to measuring cups or measuring spoons. If you have a drinking cup that you use frequently, a measuring cup can help you determine the volume amount it holds. Simply fill the cup with water to the very top. Next, pour the water from the cup into the measuring cup. Finally, place the measuring cup on a flat surface to read the fluid ounces on the side of the measuring cup. Make sure you're at eye level with the measuring cup while reading the fluid ounces. You can also use this trick to determine how much your bowls or mugs hold. If you use measuring spoons, make sure you level the amount in the spoon or just record in the diary if it is a rounded tablespoon. Food labels or nutrition facts are included on the outside label of all packaged foods. It provides information on the food serving size, calories, and nutrient information. For the purposes of estimating portion size, note the serving size described as a volume amount or a whole item. Next, Note how many servings are in the entire package. Now that you know the volume amount of a single serving, estimate the amount eaten and document the volume amount in the food diary. Please do not describe the amount eaten as a serving. Always record a volume amount or number of whole items. For more information on how to read food labels, visit the FDA's website listed on the screen. To recap, you can use the food portion guide, measuring cups and measuring spoons, or food labels to estimate and record amounts. Now that you know how to estimate food portions, keeping a food diary will be a breeze. Thank you for participating in our study.